Gentlemen, it's great to be back in the studio. And first of all, I want to thank all our listeners for continuing to listen to us, Radio Central, when we present Redemption Hour. Yes, I traveled for a while, but by God's grace, I'm back. And thanks to all those who prayed with me, especially the leadership of my church, their prayers and their contributions. They stood in and made sure that the program ran successfully. God bless you all for tuning in to Redemption Hour. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your grace and mercy. You continue to lead us. You continue to grant us, Lord, grace to be able to live. Yes, Lord. We pray that, God, your word will continue to strengthen us. Amen. And, Lord, the challenges of this world will be able to surmount them. Yes. Lord. And bear testimony of your goodness. Amen. And we pray that your word will always touch hearts, yes, transform, yes, and rebuild us Amen. into the image of Jesus Christ. Amen. Use us as instruments of righteousness yes, for our listeners. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I'll share with you a message titled, Casting Your Pearls Among Swine. Jesus himself is the one who made this statement. Jesus In Matthew chapter 7 verse 6, Matthew, it says something to He said, Do not give dogs what is sacred. And do not throw your pearls to pop to pigs. He said, if you do, they may trample them under their feet. And turn and tear you to pieces. So Jesus is identifying certain dogs, people, I mean, people he calls pigs. Not a way of insulting them, but the nature of dogs and pigs. So it says that if you have something sacred, you don't give it to dogs. Like if you have a very good sparkling white dress, you don't give it to the dogs to play with them. Mm. They will mess it up. And for pearls to be given to pigs, pigs love to move their mouths through the, the mud and they like dirt. So Jesus is speaking to people who know they are spiritual beings. They are they love good things and they belong to the Lord. When you come to God, He makes you a child of God. And he puts his spirit into you. And he gives you his word. To make you like him. Every gift or talent that God gives you, the gift that he gives us, the gifts of the spirit, the gifts of wisdom, the gift to understand, precious things that God gives us. Now, I 
the itumite in the masi, and I reach in the moon, and I should add ye a year son, I breathe or ye raza or not the moon. So, what are dogs, swine, or pigs? Na one and we, madam, and Adam Prakono. People who don't value godliness. I am one, one man, yammy, some. They don't value your godly character. In fact, this message is for, excuse me to say, religious people or Christians who value their life as children of God. Dogs, or pigs. They don't value Christian principles. Na mbodom no yin prakodi Christian sum nin si say no one on sum one So there are some tenets of Christianity that they mock at. Na ye wo Christian fu afabia wo sa chichi wo hu. The biblical events or narratives that we have in the scripture that you value, they don't respect it. They just Mock at it and make fun of it. Na choice am in Sambia or you do not smooth bono or no and a wafa no was moon at it. In fact, there are people who even mock at God. They think that God doesn't exist. And the whole thing about God, judgment, and his gifts and etc., they think is rubbish. Na ye will be so wa de was see yango pon at it de yamina po. Unyuho, atembu inyuho, ena, eh, oye, eh, iw, eh, wafrende, eh, Cause judgment. Nyangupo na atembu na angasasu, unyuho, inti wasi mwatichi. It's sad for me to know, or to understand that, there are people like me, who do not, because they don't respect the things of God, Jesus will refer to them as pigs. And it's sad if you are being referred to in the light of Jesus Christ, that you are pig because you don't respect godly, valuable things. Now, I have opinion, say, who sits them now? And not yet, Jesus, the old kind, eh? Oh, who soon, why there? Bodom in a praco, or Sunday, a man, ya means a man, and some old book. And let me now mention the pearls. Now, woman, can a crazy or small book? Yeah, the pressure things about your life. Some spiritual revelations that God has given you alone. It could be some family secret. Something between your husband and your wife. And your, your wife. Yourself. Truth you have known about God. Truth about the scriptures all along. And as you there, no quarrel some are in one way a razi, no more in Britain. Sina is in one razi. Something you value in them may be a one cast or small. They are your pearls. Only you are cross or small. And Jesus says, Now Jesus said, Do not cast throw your pearls to pigs. In other words, don't give these things to people who will not recognize, who will not, who will belittle them and trample them down. Now, only now Jesus said, Thank you very much. Let's say that in English. Because Jesus said that if you do that, you give your pearls to them, they are going to trample them. They will not respect it. They will just manhandle it. They will destroy it, and then they will also destroy your very life because they are going to say things that you will regret Indeed. for giving them your, your pills. There is a guy called John MacArthur written a lot, I mean, expositions and Contempt, I mean, um, biblical things um, that we we learn from. Now, very many people have found John MacArthur. Our Ocho, in the man of the Bible, who no idea Ocho book was who in a no Ocho on some pin. Ah, yes, he have you know. His comment is this. 
on this passage. He says, when people do not only reject the gospel, the gospel is that Jesus came to die for sinners. If people don't respect this, they reject it. And then insist on not only rejecting, but mocking and reviling the things of God. Mm. I, want, I want believers to know that this is scriptural. MacArthur says, you do not waste God's holy word and the precious spells of his truth in such a futile and frustrating attempt to win those people. Mm. Yeah, some, yes, if you start and they are not accepting, they are ridiculing, don't force yourself. Don't don't do it. Just leave it, them. In one hour, most Yes. Oh, Sunday, <laughs> because it gets to a point where Jesus, God himself gets tired and lets us go. Say the time of ignorance he overlooked, but when we know the truth, he will not fight with us. God will not contend with man forever. It gets to a point that he gives up and lets you live in your stupidity or somebody's stupidity or foolishness. But God loves us, and so he gives time. But you as a child of God, if somebody is ridiculing the word of God, don't waste your time. Inti damara so eye nyamine ba na se bi o si nyankopon na asam ho atwetwa men sa wo be wadam nyimpa no so we are to lead them to the lord o twa de ye gya ho no ma ewraze na ran trusting that somehow the holy spirit will penetrate their hearts ah ye je zi de sunsun konkon na ansa ba kan ho na so i'm giving this message to some believers who, who hope that their spouses, their children, their friends, you've been talking to them and you wish that they would turn to God and they have not and they are still ridiculing you. It's okay. Let them go and allow the Holy Spirit to do His work. Mm. Mm. At the end of this message, I will leave a few minutes if somebody wants to give a, make a call. You want to share something, you want to ask a question, you'll be allowed to. And you can get ready with a number. What's the recording? Zero three three. So if you need to go and put my friend, what's the message? Be a visa. Now, so that I'm to be a two man. No, Jesus says something to this again in Matthew chapter ten verse fourteen. Now, Jesus, okay, be be father, my son, in whom you echo Matthew two do in Chem Dana. He told the disciples that if you go to a town, a village, anywhere. And you are sharing the word, and no. people reject it. I say, "Sir, who can grow with you? Now, who can change a razor? Now, some now, and grow for what for? Asamana, shake the dust off your feet and go to another place. I know for for one and I see one to many now for go now call baby for for us. In other words, yes, we are supposed to do, do apologetics to pr pr um, explain the scriptures, but people are ridiculing the word of God, present the truth. And then let go because God is the one who convicts people about His word. Inti, I am no quarter. Yetumufa. We are say 
in some Nazi in I to the church, rather than some the Nasako, Nasa was seen young upon Nasam no white chiches are under those tread a profound as it go, Natriado, Nakakasa. The amplified version says that you should leave them in contempt, breaking off ties because they are mocking at the things of God. We cannot let ungodly people mock at the precious things of God. The, the, that we saves humanity from sin and destruction. We should mean serious. And I want to encourage believers that be serious with it. Testify. Share the word of God. But don't don't give chance for people to mock the scriptures. Let them go. Only the scriptures even talk about Jesus Christ. There was a time people came to him, even though he was preaching, you were trying to just make him feel good, but you were rejecting his message. Na and a baby was Jesus now, but more warm there. In our car, Yami, now something, and a and one a nature funu, walk a can send ya off and oh, I don't all but Jesus now about you. And sooner was he at some, they just want the good things from him, but not the scriptures, the truth. Na no one can depart if he Jesus was, and they thought they can, they can win Jesus by that. Now, when I did there, what to me. The Bible says in John chapter 2, 24 and 25. So Jesus, I said, John, it says that, but Jesus would not entrust himself to them. No, see, choice I'm see. Jesus Nangasa or him fano won to Damon Crofi once a more like a canado. Because he knew all people. O send on you nipa people cannot be trusted. O send nipa one for rain genu. He did not need any testimony about mankind. And no one here does Zibiera of Nipa the same because he knew what was in each person. Some Christians always want to appeal to everybody. They want people to always acclaim them. But Jesus says no. Jesus himself didn't. Now Jesus is the Abi Osa and Angasa Wanyedam. The truth is the truth. Just proclaim no the truth it, and let go. No quar, I was the kind of quarrel night, young cop. Do not throw your pearls to the swine, beloved. Men too, what cried that awesome woman in Gua Mam Prako? In our culture, in the African culture, and other places, people go consulting, even Christians, people who go to worship on Sundays and Call the name of God and Jesus Christ. They will go to idol fetishes, malams, and other places just to go and seek fortune or seek what is about their lives. Now, here we do do a answer your friend. I get to fool your quiet a certain idea. Yes, I get to him. Your call malam for and in for a comfort. Now, you can be sa and yanchi. Now, all these things you are a believer someone has convinced you that you need to go and get something and put under your table so that you can sell more Sometimes when we even fall sick. People lure us to places where we know. That it's not godly. 
Because they don't believe in the word of God totally. But because what are healing will go to those places. There's a, a story in um, 1 Samuel chapter 28. Seeing this to one those who like going asking and asking about. It was about Saul. At a point when he was going to war. And he was worried about the outcome of the war. And he was afraid of his life. So his own people advised him to go and look for somebody um, services of a witch of Endor, a witch who lives in Endor. And so, but before then, he had even made a rule and a law that such people should be killed. But then, because of that, he had to disguise himself. And he went to this place. And, and he went in the night. My brother, my sister. When he asked the woman to call Samuel, the um, prophet Samuel, back so that he can ask him about the will of God. But the woman realized that no, this man is a king. But when but he had disguised himself. And so the woman reminded him, don't you know that there's a law against this practice? And he said, no, nothing will happen to you. Who is he to be able to go and say something against what the king had edicted? What now, the king has said. Now, he see? Well, of course, he's the king. But then he gave the woman the right to do it. Remember, Saul was chosen by God to lead his people. Hmm. And yet, so what he did gave the woman the right, the authority to do the wrong thing against the child of God. Let me pause and say that no matter how you disguise yourself, no matter how you, the time you go to seek for these things, Satan knows you. If you're a Christian, he knows you. He knows what you are coming from. He knows where you worship. You cannot hide. So you cannot go in the night. Neither can you transform yourself. Satan knows you. That is why when even you are a believer and you are going to flirt or have sexual relations with an unbeliever. Uh, the, the unbeliever will remind you that aren't you a Christian? Now, the or you do something for you to realize he knows who you are. 
But she knows who you are. But we also become like Saul. And so we behave as if it's not, it doesn't matter. As if, no, for the chen, put it aside. When you do that, you have cast your pearls before a swine. This woman, the witch of Endor, brought the spirit out. And it says the spirit is somewhere. Well, we we can't relate to that. That's what the scripture says. And then the person came and told Saul. Exactly what will happen. And uh, since we been okay, okay, just so the obesity will come to And he will die. His children will die. He will lose the battle. And okay, there. And I'm gonna say, Saul, bow, number bow, now we didn't cook up them. I couldn't have recorded. And according to the history, it happened exactly the same way. Now, I'm gonna say, just there. I'm gonna make a demand. No, see, pepe, pepe. So, what was the profit? What was the benefit for Saul to have cast his spell before the swine? Disgracing the word of God. Another passage in 2 Corinthians 6.14. Paul says, Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Why? Because it doesn't work well. And he followed with five contrasting questions. And in Revelation says, if you be hot, be hot. If you be cold, be cold. Christians somehow are the cause of people ridiculing the word of God. Paul asks the questions. What partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? No see, Eben Aquinia, Enna, Sine, and Umbra Tofu, Wawa, or Eben Chicken. What fellowship has light with darkness? Enna Eben Aquiniana, and I see there Aquinia, or that is soon in the Cunnington. What a call has Christ with Belia? Na Eben a Yankuye, Enna, or ye Christ, and on ye Bell, I was some Wawa. What portion does a believer share with an unbeliever? What agreement has the temple of God with idols? So, so the second Corinthians 6 14 says, Do not be yoked. Equally with unbelievers. In the current woman or today they say it's the only time they are not there. Man, man, he he one of one jeans in in shirt with one diaper. One reformer, John Calvin, said to be yoked with unbelievers. Now John Calvin, more can he say? He he one jeans for best shirt with one diaper. Means following, fellowshipping with unfruitful works of darkness. Oh no, chere, he he. And hold not your hand to them in a token of agreement. No, And that is referring to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11. 
So, if you don't want to be born again, if you don't want to believe in Jesus Christ, and you want to remain an unbeliever, it's your choice. It pains us that judgment will come. And you realize that with all the noise, there's a day appointed for judgment. Now, I'm sharing this word to encourage believers to stand strong and not to give in to the ridicule of unbelievers and wicked people. The Amplified Version says, Do not participate with the worthless and unproductive deeds of darkness. Expose them. By your godly character. So those who pretend to go to church, and in darkness, they go through the darkness to other places they know it's against the word of God. Be warned because you are casting your pearl before swine. Jesus says they will trample them down, and not only that, they will come and destroy you, they will tear you to pieces. Now, Jesus, okay, they're dumb. A crazy or warm or some wooden, a two boom prop one and modern war will be tetia do the next year. So, a bad and we are quite here. One cassa, but because the devil comes to steal or send out one something up by the old boy, yeah, kill no ekum and to destroy. Now, I say, so be vigilant. It's about when you wonder, don't be asleep. Men that stand firm in the Lord, even if it's going against you, sir, uncle, see, umpa, know that there's a testimony. That they that put your trust in the Lord shall never be confounded. Because we don't live to please ourselves. So that unequal you is not only for marriage. But it, it, it affects cultural practices that do go against the will of God. Anything that will make you surrender your will and the good things of God against your biblical convictions. What's in kind of wijiza a war when you minimum? For those of you who know the story of Samson and Delilah. Na him would do a yim Samson and Delilah one asamano. Remember, Samson did not have to be killed or his eyes gush out, except because he revealed God's gift, a secret that God has given him to an unbeliever because of lust. Na yanka de Inka Samson on said the word to Tinua and answer de O Nansu on them a cross or some wa a radizi si anumu no cadenezi zima and genzi or ba on them nankas and our conunzi and all ma Samson o Korea them beloved Adolfo if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ said Jesus Christ is stand firm because the days are evil. Testing trials. If you haven't come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, I encourage you. Come to the Lord. Because there's a day appointed. There'll be judgment. 0332091. Zero three three two zero nine four eight eight zero. We'll be finishing very soon. So if you have anything, contribution or a question, please call zero three three two zero nine one eight seven zero zero three three two zero 
0809-242-94880. You may call as I wrap up on this passage or this message. Do not cast your pearls among swine. In the abundance of pain that to go in both my friends, as a missy dear and a disa, and as today as some to the beer, Naka, as something in anything there. Men to work right out some boo, in front go up, mum bodom, and I there in Praco, more in Tetiado. Zero three three two zero nine one eight seven zero or zero three three two zero nine four eight eight zero. But my friends is here for be people who call themselves Christians. And no one are from Christian from an to defend the gospel. Na me pere mission crying there itu igina pinti nature charging and go for If you don't, na san yet in the man, they will trample you down. On who will you will trample your things down. There's no way Satan is going to agree with you. No, no you can't be unequally yoked with the enemy. Yes, you cannot just live without having um, business with anybody. But then know how far you can go. Now, I encourage you. I encourage all believers. To hold on to the truth. And I appeal to unbelievers. That the testimony of Jesus far outweighs any mindset, anything that you can think of. There, this is how often Jesus when all bull be biara, a green biara, and now the big biara wants to put him again. So God loves you. It's Jesus who cares for you. Yankupon, all genuine. We thank you so much for tonight. Yet the woman say one day you breathe. As many as have heard us. Now do do our words. Hold on to it. I will cry the master me. Just have a few minutes as I wait. I just want you, if you want to call, you want to ask a question. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Pastor, this is the Joe Mentor. Let me ask you for me. For the church, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, 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 